Alrighty, so I was going over my second video and I realized that I didn't really show this part within the time lapse, you know, nor planting the all this. And then I was going around actually while I was doing my, I guess, daily chores for this game. And I did this. Yep, a lot of dirt. This is still going pretty well. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. I want to sleep. Oh, yeah, no. I uh, love it when an apple is in my face when I'm sleeping. All right, so as you can tell, I got two leads and leather. There was a wandering trader that spawned up, like, right here. And I, well, unalived it. Yeah. So, I was also kind of thinking, right? So, I believe our spawn chunk is, like, right around here. And all of this will always stay active because spawn chunk radius is 20. 12 chunks i believe i could be mistaken but i believe it is 12 chunks so i did all this i can even show you where i got all the dirt um i really do yeah so i got, also got a lot more bread as you can tell apples too i will show that in just a moment oh yeah hey look at this chests oh my goodness organized yeah, yeah. so i did i spent like an hour and a half just kind of getting all this and this I actually had a lot more. Um, yeah, I had to make some charcoal. Got some more uh, dirt. Uh, yeah, so this is all that I got from the deforestation that I did. A lot more sticks. No, I want to eat. There we go. So let's go and see the devastation. I took out all of this. So I know that in the first episode, I said I like to cover up the holes yeah i also said small holes right this is this is not a small one so i also cleared out all of this this all used to be this is all trees right as you can tell i kind of made an outline and that was really just so i still had some trees in the sight line of the house wait are these oh these are different flowers these are nice chicken oh egg all right so yeah so that's where i got all the wood all the apples the extra dirt this this is gonna be grown here in just a minute i've been waiting for all of this to grow we're gonna do some interior decoration because let's face it it's this this house this house is lacking it, it really is however there is also only so much that i can really do right i wanted to add a little fireplace but if I add a fireplace to any of this, one of these planters is going to have to wait. Last episode, I said we were going to build this horse stable. Okay, let's, uh, let's build a horse stable. Sorry, I, like, I remind myself every so often of what I said previously, and I definitely mentioned the horse stable. If I didn't, well, that's a, it's a bit of a hiccup on my part. So let's get some tools. You know what? I'm okay with that. I feel like that extends down too much, though. There we go. Alright, that actually looks good. You know what, though? I can't, I can't hold it anymore. I've got to harvest it. I literally don't have the space in my inventory. I'm going to have to plant some of these seeds. So, this, this alone, minus these two, was a full three stacks of seeds. Oh, right. So, this entire plot right here was, what, five stacks plus ten? Got all of that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus thirty-three. That took me a good, like, twenty minutes to get. And I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm actually pretty pleased. Uh, there are a few, like, sections up there that I kind of want to patch up. Let me just... There we are. Yeah, I'm okay with this. This is alright. This is probably, like, the only bothersome part right here. But in order to keep this symmetrical with that, I kind of didn't really have a choice didn't want to bring this out because i wanted these to be the supports for this outer roof with this obviously being the main support and i got all these supports on the side and because of how this comes out i kind of set myself up for that tricky situation over there but 
all is okay. Let's go grab ourselves a horse. If it despawns, I'm not going to really bother to grab any any other animals, but I will still add some some cozy decorations in. And then uh It's like I can't get on the horse without it having a saddle and I'm not going to be able to get a saddle. There we go. That's actually kind of interesting. I didn't know placing down a uh, fence doesn't destroy farmland. Since I'm not going to have any other animals, I can just extend this right out. Still have... I think I'm still going to keep double entrance over here. But now... What I can do, actually, with some trapdoors... There we go. I'm not going to be able to get any water over here, though. Yeah, come on, get your butt down there. So, that's a big no-no, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with this. And we can even just do one of these things, right? Oh, no. But that wouldn't be good because then he'd be able to escape that way. What if we just did... Yeah, and then we can actually stick this, stick the last hay bale up there. Oh, but then it hides the hay bale. What if we did... If I put a block there, it won't block that, but it would make it a little difficult to reach. Seems like he loves that area. Maybe we can just go around, fence off this area. That way the horse can actually roam. That doesn't look too bad. There we go. So now he has a lot more free space. Yeah, I like that a lot more. That's a lot better. I could also take that all the way down to there. But I think for now, that should be okay. And this is actually going to be really good for us. That we got this platform down here. Because I've got something special planned for the next episode. However, I think... This is going to be it. This episode's going to be pretty short, but I wasn't really planning on putting anything out this weekend anyway. I just had some inspiration and I wanted to take advantage of that. And I think it paid off pretty well. I don't know about that roofing design. That's a little wonky, but these are all fixes that we can do with the next episode and with what I've got planned for right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like comment and i will see you guys next episode